Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore the color workspace inside Premiere Pro. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are on the uh, editing workspace right now. So to change it, all we have to do is to click on the color next to uh, these editing workspace. So color workspace, clicking it. All right, so to make sure that we are on the uh, really default workspace, all we have to do is to click on window at the top, click on workspace, and click on reset to save layout. There you have it. Now we are on the default screen of the color workspace. Now we are sure that we are working together to, if you want to follow along, um, you, we have the same outline. All right, so basically, on the color workspace, if you already done with your editing, if you added your video, if you already import your video, if you already added your video to your timeline, if you already cut and um, you know add the in point out point, you already add your audio, you enhance, you improve the audio, and um, and you organize your clip depends on what um film that you are, are you're trying to make and finally you are done with all of the editing of your video and audio and now the last process would be uh, giving color on your video and then after this you can try to export it after you added the uh, video or you can uh, add the, uh, the the graphics and the and the titles all right but say for example you already edit the video and you are ready to color correct your video all right so uh, just keep in mind that you do it after you edit it because if you color correct before you edit your video you might uh, your premiere pro will work harder because uh, you added first the color before you try to do the uh, that's demanding task which is you know cutting cutting clips all right so make sure you cut clips first and you edit your video before you do color correction Okay, so basically, uh, this is the uh, color workspace inside Premiere Pro. So in the left side, there's a basic correction, creative, curves, color wheels, and match, uh, HL secondary, and vignette. And here we have the Lumetri code. It looks weird and it's really hard to understand, but just it's uh, just numbers and a measurement of colors. All right, so don't be intimidated. It's just easy to understand. It's just representation of colors on our clip. All right, now the, the uh, this one at the bottom is the uh, nature montage or is our sequence. All right, currently on the nature montage, and we have the program monitor, and we have the project panel on the right side, and we have a long audio meter on the very right side. Okay, so uh, basically you can adjust uh, you can adjust this for your preferences. All right, you can move around uh, panels, make it bigger, or you can move these Lumetri scopes here at the at here in the left side to make it you uh, know wider all right or you can put it back here so it's really up to you okay um right now all right so basically that that is your color workspace so as you can see in this color workspace we are on the Lumetri color Lumetri color is uh the uh, the pre-built uh color uh, application or color um, software that was inside Premiere Pro so you don't need any other software to color correct your files right inside of the Premiere Pro we have the Mitri color that was uh, that was added automatically once you have uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and it's a very powerful tool like the any other software in there all right so if, as you can see in the list here we have basic correction creative curse so this one is uh, created in the way that uh, you're going to use it in order so first step would be you need to correct the color of your footage so you don't want to color grade first um, especially if your color was incorrect or the white balance is off right and next thing is you need to do the creative. So in the creative, there's a different look here that you can uh, add, you know, the film look after you color correct. All right. Then you can just adjust the curves of the, uh, this is also for the colors, uh, white, red, uh, green, and blue uh, curves here for just your mid-tones and highlights and all right and then after you adjust the curves you can uh, do color wheels and match all of the footage of the colors and then the hsl secondary if you want to uh, make particular color change the colors um, you know fine tuning the color that's depends on your liking 
and of course we have the vignette all right so if you want to add the effects after you do the color correction the creative the curves and color wheels and you want to add vignette effect and the and the side of your video that's okay too it's the last part all right so basically that's it for your lumetri color now for the lumetri scopes all right so we have here uh you can adjust the uh uh the the panels here by doing right click and then right now it was on the vector scope the parade rgb and waveform but there's a bunch of there's histogram there's a vec vector scope hls uh parade uh parade time is rgv all right and waveform is uh yc in the moment so color workspace this is for um uh, low quality standard and high standard something like that so uh, you can choose the 709 you can, you can just leave it like that and for brightness we have normal all right if you want to select deselect the vector scope just uncheck it and then you'll get this uh, and if you want to uh, if you want to show that again just click on that and it will show you the vector scope again okay you can also go to settings here to that's the same you're doing the right click it's also the settings here and you will see all of the options available for you and the clamp signal clamp signal on clamp signal off all right our timelines uh the bottom here and our project is located here and you can click on the chevron or um chevron or hidden items to look for effects and essential graphics if you want all right that's kind of uh, smaller here so you can adjust it depending on your liking to make it a little bit uh, some space to create some if you want to drag and drop it here to our timeline all right so basically that is your color workspace if you want to go back to a different uh, workspace you can just simply click on the window at the top workspace and window workspace and choose the available available workspace for you all right so yeah, so that's your color workspace. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.